A pipeline explosion and fire in Deer Park raising lots of questions about pipeline safety. Not just on land, but under the water. Houston, the energy capital of the world, is home to one of the nation's busiest ports with a network of underwater pipelines. Here's what Sherman Chow learned. Navigating the petrochemical industry can be tricky and not just above the waterline. 250 pipelines crossing through the entire port of Houston in the waterway. So it's just an incredible amount. And they feed the refineries, the plants, they help feed the ships. Ed Landgraf is director of Marine Safe Texas 811 and says their mission is to educate mariners. Know where these pipelines are, how to avoid them, because a pipeline spill on the river, if it is a liquid product, will shut down the river. There are signs and flags that mark potential danger zones, but even with a national pipeline task force, accidents can happen. One fatality occurs on average per year with some type of marine vessel contacting inadvertently some type of pipeline. Houston is one of the nation's busiest ports. We're able to move 20,000 ship moves a year. Uh, it's, it's more than LA and New York combined. Clint Winnegar is with the Houston Pilots, and they provide pilots to navigate all regulated ships entering or exiting the 52-mile stretch of the Houston Ship Channel. So when we get on a vessel, we climb up and we, we bring a navigation computer with us. And on that navigation computer, it actually shows where those pipeline crossings are. Deck barge to avoid trouble or anchor safely if there's an emergency. In some places, it's a tight squeeze from the bottom of the ship to the bottom of the ship channel. No more than two or three feet at, at sometimes uh, between the ship and the, and the bottom. Of, but like I said, it's a mud bottom. And at least another 20 feet below that for the shallowest pipelines. The goal, of course, to steer clear of any close calls. Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News.